Hey, what's up? We're playing the cave. I'm gonna take these twins and we're gonna continue on our tour because we just finished the section with the twins, which was uh, pretty, uh, it was a, it was a very, uh, happy themed level, I think. What's up with this? Can uh oh. Totally uh wait a second. Stop that. Okay. So I used the power of the time traveler. I think this might be uh No doubt you have realized by now that here in the cave. The rules of time and space are not exactly, well, set in stone, so to speak. <laughs> but for the time traveler, time and space are mere playthings. Tools manipulated to pay back petty slights. So, prepare yourselves for a tale of revenge that spans a million years. And remember, even with the best of intentions, time travel can be unpredictable. And with the worst of intentions, well, I guess we're about to see. <laughs> uh oh. This is gonna be cool. Oh, sorry, I was just trying to scare you. This is gonna be awesome. I have a good feeling about this. Alright, time machine. What else is here? I'm just gonna walk all the way to the right. Take this one up. Ooh, there's a little symbol there. I'll just uh, I'll just go in this direction first. Hey, I got a fuse. Hell yeah. Hey, what's this? Let's see, uh, oh, maybe I, maybe that was how I was supposed to do it, but, who knows, let's just push this thing. Uh, maybe, maybe this, yeah, look, see, it stopped. Oh, um, I'll need to go like this. Go like that. Okay. I think uh, I think I did it right. Well, at least I did something that was uh, noticeable, right? So uh, nothing else over here. Let's check this out. The sting of accolades from co-workers. Oh, so everyone's admiring that other dude. She's all like, oh, he doesn't deserve it. So it starts off going to work, going to work. Oh, I hate that guy. Oh, I hate that guy. So 
pretty deep story so far. The, the million year story is based on um, going to work and hating one guy. So far. Hey, uh, I hope this isn't... No, no, it can't be. I hope Ron Gilbert isn't the time traveler and the person that the time traveler is mad at, at for getting all the credit isn't Tim Schafer because... Because Tim Schafer is awesome and Ron Gilbert is awesome. He gets the credit he deserves. I think. I hope so. Ron Gilbert made the first game I ever beat. So now, time machine. What's up with these guys? Can they do anything? Not yet. So, let's use the time machine. Behold, science! Whoa, man. I'm just gonna click it again. <laughs> Whoa. So there's uh, three modes. There's... Okay. But I think this might be the future. I think this might be past. That's intense. Alright, let's check out the future first. Uh, oh yeah. Oh, it's you. I thought we fired you. <laughs> Still sore about getting passed over for greatest employee of all time? <laughs> I'm sure you saw my commemorative photo on the way in. Don't feel bad. My family has been working here for generations. I take that back. Do feel bad. <laughs> Whoa, there's like a floating head in well, the personality must not be a big hiring point here. Yeah, well, that's nice. Whoa. Are you kidding me? We can travel through time. Well, that's just great. This is gonna be fun. So, let's check out this section. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll have to do this. Yeah, that's there. I wonder what happens if I change that. Pretty cool. So, uh... Is there a platform to jump up on? No. And uh, what about over here? No, nothing. Well, that's fun. No, I can't uh, bring that over here either. Okay. That was fun. Antique arcade machine. Oh, I want to play it. Go. So that was a uh, fun. Remember, hands off the exhibit. Let's check uh, out what's down here. So uh, crystals, and that's it. Maybe. No, it's gotta be something down here. Maybe the crystals have something to do with something. This exhibit features the ancient combustion engine, or as it was commonly known at the time, the Dino Hibernator. In the early 21st century, humans used these primitive engines to power everything from toothbrushes to toasters, even elevators. Ancient man's addictions to toast and teeth brushing quickly exhausted the world's oil supply. 
once the precious substance was finally depleted, ancient man was forced to find more advanced sources of power. Research that led directly to the modern hover boot design. It also set the stage for the bad oral hygiene fashion craze we still see to this day. That's pretty wacky story. <laughs> That's awesome. So let's uh, there's an elevator, but let's uh, just continue over here. Oh yeah. Archaeologists have yet to determine the original use of the smirk. Thousands of these strange artifacts have been recovered at ancient dig sites around the world. People living in long gone eras often carried several in their pockets at all times, leading some experts to attribute to the smirk a religious or mythological significance. Other historians dismiss this reasoning, claiming a more mundane use by teenage boys to twirl and braid their hair. We may never know the true use of the smirk. What do you think it did? <laughs> what do you think the smirk did? <laughs> that, that is so funny. <laughs> That's so... <laughs> it's obviously a religious thing, right? So there's like a, a lot of stuff over here. In the future. Oh, jealousy runs deep. He's pissed. It's not gonna be good for her. So, uh, hope I didn't skip anything. I'll, I'll figure it out. Hey kids! Smell like a real live dinosaur with our newest interactive exhibit experience. Dinosaurs exist now. You smell like a stinky old dinosaur. Isn't that great? Dinosaurs were social animals that lived in groups governed by a rigid organizational structure. An alpha dinosaur was the lord of his tribe, leading foraging trips and assigning tasks. Fun fact dinosaurs required no sleep and had to keep in nearly constant motion to survive. Much like the Amazon forest dwelling penguin. The Amazon forest dwelling penguin. Oh, that's just great. Now you smell like a stinky old dinosaur. Isn't that great? Now you smell like a stinky old dinosaur. Isn't that great? This is like... I'm I'm really happy I picked uh, the time traveler because the time traveler has the best story. <laughs> what the hell? This is so great. Okay. Oh, I guess I picked the right direction. It seems way more complex when you think that it's just like like a path that you haven't gone. You just find out it's nothing. Take the smirk. No touching the exhibits. What? I'm not allowed to touch the smirk. Can't believe it. Go. Oh, okay. This is gonna be good. Although no actual rain fuss have ever been uncovered. Top archaeologists believe they were commonly used as some kind of head accessory from the 1940s to the late 2100s. They came in several styles and colors to project the mood of the wearer. Upon entering a social setting, each person would assess the crowd by the types of ring fusts they were wearing. It is thought that World War I was started when Sir Winston wore a particularly inappropriate <laughs> ring fuss at a cocktail party with the American President Franklin D. Bon Jovi. <laughs> that is just too funny. Yeah, that's exactly a ring fuss. The bucket, it's a ring fuss. <laughs> right, let's check out this elevator. Mm -mm. No, no worky. Remember, hands off the exhibits. Yeah, but I can't do anything else. So, time to uh, travel. Oh, I smell like a dinosaur. Let's travel back through time now. 
You ready? I still smell like a dinosaur. Ah, prehistory. My formative years. Oh my god. There's still a statue of this dude. Let's check out what's up y'all. Nothing over here, and hopefully I'll be able to influence the future. Let's influence the future. Is there a path or something? No, nothing to jump over up there. Alright, let's influence the future. Yeah. There you go. Hey, I don't smell like a dinosaur anymore. That sucks. Alright, we'll figure it out. Alright. So... Just a path? Are oh, you kidding me? You gotta be kidding me. What? Maybe, uh, maybe you gotta smell like a dinosaur. Oh, uh, let's go and check. Like, let's, I'm gonna switch characters, right? Oh my god. Alright, I, I just gotta, I gotta do something. Because I just realized that... Things are awesome. So, I'm gonna go up here. I can go over here and just move this. Oh my god, what the. Look at that, it's there now. I can go here, move that back. Not really. Isn't that cool? Yeah. So, now I can explore here and, uh... And if I need to do anything in any of the other worlds, I can use the other characters. So there's this dude. And, yeah. So, yeah. Let's uh, explore. Oh, uh, to the right. Sweet. Fake hero arrives. See, he's totally fake. Oh, three more left. Oh. Wasn't that something? Wait, can I jump up? No. Just look like that. Dog need more shape for wheel. What if I kill you? Why not Thog make wheel work? Here you go. Wheel still not roll. What if I just took this? That'd be so cool, wouldn't it? Or maybe I'm supposed to do this. Yeah. I just uh, caused a butterfly effect, didn't I? Oh, there's a dinosaur, and I need to smell like dinosaurs. Oh. Go here. Let's go smell like dinosaurs. This guy's still greatest employee, yeah. Guess who got the greatest employee of all time award? Uh me. Wait, there's nothing here, is there? Just gotta double check. Jump up. 
Okay. Don't need to check any of that stuff. We already know what that is. Uh, uh go to the left. There's the smurg. Uh, what's to the left again? Yeah, just, uh, that. So basically nothing. Hey, here's a skeleton. What's a skeleton? Is a yeah. That's that's actually really funny. The skeleton is the time traveler. That's pretty cool. Well, it's funny. And oh, that's even funnier. Now you smell like a stinky old dinosaur. Isn't that great? That's pretty funny. The dinosaur is the same. Spot uh, as the dinosaur. Why wouldn't they do that? That's just too cool. Now I gotta make sure that I don't uh, walk in water or something. Or maybe it's the time limit. I'm not sure, but I gotta get that elevator working. Me and the other greatest employees of all time are all grabbing drinks at the wizard. Yeah, I don't need to listen to that, dude. Gotta run, I got a thing to do. Wait, what's over here? I hear water, I can't. Okay. So. Gotta, wait. If I jump, the kid's hair falls off his head. Well, that's just... That's awesome. So, dinosaur to the left. Yeah, here we are. What's up, dinosaur? Aww. Alright, so, dinosaur. Maybe I should just stand here. Yeah, I'll just stand here. That sounds perfect. You know it's too loud. This will be our greatest creation. We'll still not roll. I'm not too sure if uh yeah. There we go. Actually, that is what I'm supposed to do. Score! I was just about to like say that that sound was getting really, really annoying. But then we killed the dinosaur. Yeah. Is, uh, is there anything? That... No? No prize. Can't like rip out its heart or anything. No prize. Dog want wheel roll. So, uh, should I? Why not dog make wheel work? Should I, um, just kind of like wait? Let this guy just make a bunch of wheels. I think that's what I might need to do. Pretty weird. Try it again. Let's see what this dude's up to. Dog want wheel roll. Oh yeah, I think he's just uh Yeah, I think he's just crazy. Cool. So that's fine. Oh well, I'm gonna go over here. Alright, the last spot. Okay, this is a prehistoric spot. Okay, I get it, I get it. Oh uh, yeah, I'll, I'll switch to the knight, because he's in modern times. And I'm pretty sure in the future this isn't here. Because, uh, yeah, see you go down and then none of that stuff's there. Hey. 
So do I have to stand here like this? Wait. Oh, okay. Gotta stand like this. Alright. And then... Hey. Why is it gone again? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, do I need to use the twins or some stupid crap? That doesn't make sense. This doesn't make sense at all. So can I push it upwards? No, you can't, eh? So... What happens if I switch characters? It's still gone. That doesn't make any sense at all. think about uh, you need two people. Um, what else could I do? Well, what, what else would I put in here? Make it work better. Uh, how would I just stand right here? Just stand there. No. No, see, it, it actually put me. That's ridiculous. No. This is definitely a bug. The stand right here. Watch. Stand right there. Oh, look at that. She's in a different spot all of a sudden. Oh, well, isn't that convenient? No. Not convenient. Kind of lame. Gone down here already. Don't need to worry about smelling like a dinosaur. But yeah, I guess we'll figure it out. Check out some uh, modern time stuff real quick. Give, get a refresh of every different time zone. Oh, that thing's there. And there you go. There's the empty fuse box. Maybe I should bring a fuse into the future. I don't know if that makes any sense. No, because the fuse is what's powering the uh, time machine. What's wrong with me? Oh, uh... This is, uh, nothing. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, nothing. Just a fuse box. And that needs to be there, because... Without that, we wouldn't be able to use the time machine. There's a knight. I have no idea what's going on with this whole stupid thing. I wonder what happens if I switch. Wait a second. Wait a second. So, uh, let's use these twins. Critic not understand fog work. It's okay, don't worry. So I'll uh, do something, I think. I think that works. Something like two people standing there that seem to work, or 
the correct order of people. I don't know. But. Look at that. Never mind that at all. Oh, uh. Yeah, there we go. Never mind. That stuff doesn't work at all. We'll figure it out next time. For sure. Alright? See you later. We'll play more cave.